Namaste and welcome. Today let us talk about suicide. Contrary to what we believe, suicidal thoughts are extremely common. Even in our Puranas and Itihasas, there is mention of suicide. For example, in the Mahabharata, when Princess Amba goes with a marriage proposal to Bhishma, he rejects the proposal. Amba becomes extremely dejected as a result and commits suicide. Having suicidal ideas once in a while is acceptable, but it also depends on the underlying mental state of the person. Suicidal ideas worsen in frequency and intensity and therefore the risk of suicide also increases in certain conditions. If you have a chronic debilitating or painful medical condition, then suicidal ideas may occur more frequently. Likewise, if you are suffering from mental illnesses, especially depression and schizophrenia, suicidal ideas and suicide attempts increase. Being addicted to substances such as alcohol or other drugs also increases the risk of suicide. Socially facing difficult circumstances such as losing one's job or having financial difficulties increase the risk of suicide attempts. Family and relationship difficulties such as marital problems or being divorced or separated also increases the risk of suicide attempts. In the child and adolescent age group, not getting the expected marks in the exam or failing the exam increases the risk of suicide. In India especially, borrowing money and not being able to clear the debt increases the risk factor for suicide significantly. Warning signs of suicide include things such as worsening medical problems or psychiatric problems such as worsening of mood due to depression and worsening of psychotic features due to schizophrenia. If a person is constantly under the influence of drugs and alcohol, this also may indicate that he or she may have high suicidal tendencies. Having attempted deliberate self-harm or suicide in the past and having increased thoughts of ending the life are also indicative of high suicide risk. Change in the person's behavior such as isolating oneself, saying goodbye to everybody, giving away personal possessions, finalizing their will and writing a suicide letter also indicate the high risk of suicide. If you are having frequent suicidal ideas, it is always better to communicate about your inner feelings with a close friend or a relative. If you have nobody to talk to, you can sit quietly and talk to your own self about all the issues that you are facing. Also consider writing a personal diary or a journal where you can record all the positive attributes that you have which will help you deal with the crisis that you are facing. It is highly advisable that you address the underlying problems such as if it is a medical problem please take treatment for the same. If you have psychiatric illnesses such as depression or schizophrenia take treatment for the same. Reduce your dependence on substances such as drugs and alcohol and take professional help to deal with these issues. This will help reduce the suicidal thoughts that you are having. Address your financial issues by discussing it with the right people. If you are experiencing relationship or marital issues, speak to a counsellor who will be able to help you with these issues. Please also remember that there are several suicide helplines that you can call at any time and discuss your problems and seek help. I have included a list of all the suicide helplines in the description of this video. Please have a look. I am often asked by people who are not familiar with the Hindu religion whether it is okay to commit suicide in Hinduism. They say that Abrahamic religions such as Christianity and Islam strictly forbid suicidal ideas and suicide attempts because it is considered to be a great sin. Whereas many patients from the Hindu religion attempt suicide, they wonder if this is because in Hinduism we believe in rebirth and reincarnation 
therefore it is somehow okay to commit suicide it is not at all like that this is far from the truth suicide is considered to be a great sin and one which generates bad karma even in sanatana dharma or hinduism during my professional practice i have seen patients belonging to abrahamic religions who have either attempted suicide or committed suicide if we continue the earlier example of princess amba from the mahabharata we find that she is later reborn as shikhandini but her father drupada is unhappy with her because he thinks that having a daughter will not serve his purpose which is to kill his arch enemy drona as a result shikhandini is distraught and is faced with many difficulties she even has to undergo a sex change and become shikhandi before she can take part in the final kurukshetra war even in the garuda purana it is mentioned that committing suicide is a sin the rebirth after one commits suicide is said to be very dark and full of difficulties so just to reiterate suicide is considered to be unacceptable and a sin in all religions including hinduism many people falsely believe that committing suicide is an act of bravery it is far from the truth this is not so because suicide can be construed to be an act of selfishness because at the time of committing suicide the person will be thinking about only his or her own situation he or she fails to consider the larger issues and the adverse impact this will have on his or her family please remember that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around we are here on this earth due to karma and each of us will have to undergo testing and training during our lifetime therefore if you are faced with any problems look at the larger issues your problem is always going to be much smaller than the larger purpose of your life every problem that you are faced with is an opportunity for you to learn from the problem and become a better version of yourself avoid negativity and negative people of all sorts in your house or room keep a natural flame such as a lamp or a candle lit at all times because this absorbs negative energy and increases the positivity in your environment you can also pray to the almighty to grant you wisdom and strength to bear the difficulties that you are facing and come out stronger if you are in pain yourself consider reaching out to others who are in difficulties and help them this is a selfless act that will help you realize that your problems are not as insurmountable as you thought they are do not take any impulsive decisions about the problems that you are faced with it is always better to act patiently and even sleep over the issue so that you can get up in a refreshed state of mind and then approach the problem which will in all likelihood appear to be much smaller than it was before finally i leave you with some positive thoughts and images to put you in a better frame of mind think about all the issues that we have discussed today and be strong and stay safe thank you for watching this video namaste